babe, check this out. Let's say I made this scene in Canva using Google VO3. Just type the prompt and boom, it created us. Canva uses Google VO3 now. I type a prompt and it makes a full cinematic video with sound, dialogue, music effects. No editing needed. I made three before breakfast. Canva just added Google VO3. Now I can make real videos with sound just by typing. This is awesome. Canva just dropped a brand new AI tool called Create a Video Clip powered by Google VO3. You can now generate short videos complete with voiceovers, sound effects, and music, all from a simple text prompt. To access it, go to Canva's homepage and click on Canva AI, or find it in the left sidebar. Then select Create a Video Clip. Type your prompt into the box. There are a few settings you can adjust. You can choose a style, like cinematic, photorealistic, and more. Right now, videos are limited to a 16 to 9 aspect ratio, but 916 is coming soon. The duration is locked at 8 seconds for now, though custom lengths are also on the way. You can adjust the framing, which works like camera angles, wide shot, medium, close up, etc. And there's also a lighting option. Each of my generations took around 3 to 5 minutes. On my first attempt, I got an error, but thankfully, it didn't use up a credit. I tried again, and it worked. Here's the video I got. <laughs> Babe, check this out. Let's say I made this scene in Canva using Google VO3. Just type the prompt and boom, it created us. <laughs> Some of the clips had issues with lip sync, like these examples. Canva uses Google VO3 now. I type a prompt and it makes a full cinematic video with sound, dialogue, music effects. No editing needed. I made three before breakfast. Canva now wields the power of Google VO3. Cinematic video from a single prompt, but only for paid accounts. A few had awkward or inaccurate captions, which is pretty common with VO3 right now. Google has said they're working on improvements, so hopefully we'll see an update soon. Clicking on a video opens the chat where you can make changes if needed. Just keep in mind, it won't tweak the existing video. It'll generate a completely new one. I'm skipping that for now since I only have a limited number of credits. You can download the video or edit it directly in Canva. When you click Use Canva Editor, the clip opens in a new video file, where you can work with it just like any other video project. I added the three good clips I managed to generate into the timeline. The generated videos are automatically saved to your uploads, so they're easy to access. You can add transitions between clips, adjust their speed, crop them, and overlay text complete with effects and animations. You can also add music and sound effects from Canva's library. If you want to add captions, go to the text tab, scroll down, and select captions. Make sure the video you want to caption is selected, then click Generate Captions. Once they're added, you can style them and apply effects and animations. You can also edit the text anytime by clicking Captions in the top menu. Just keep in mind, VO sometimes includes auto-generated captions, and they're not optional yet. Hopefully, Google makes them toggleable soon so you can replace them with your own. The credit system for Canva's VO is pretty limited. You only get five credits per month, which means five video generations. Canva has said they plan to increase this in the future. For comparison, Canva's Magic Media Video Generator offers 50 monthly credits, but that uses a lower quality version of the Runway ML model. VO3 has also rolled out in Leonardo AI. Just go to video and select the VO3 model. Be warned though, it costs 2,500 credits per generation. For context, Motion 2.0 only costs 200 credits. This was just a quick look, but if you want to dive deeper into VO3, check out our previous video on using it with Google's Flow interface. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe, and let me know which AI video tools you want us to cover next. Thank you for watching.